Hello, welcome to day three of the 30 Days of Grace series that we're doing here on my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, please go back and watch day one and two of this series and come back here. <laughs> so today's video probably will be a little short just because I, I don't have a lot for today. I just have a handful of Bible verses that I wanted to read and then I don't know, I might just ramble on about them. So maybe it will be long after all, I don't know. I just... I was reading a Bible plan from the Version Bible app. I remember it talking about in the Bible, grace is often paired with other things in the Bible. And so I kind of wanted to hone in on specific Bible verses that do that, where grace and, grace and, grace and, and, and. <laughs> so first we'll do John 1 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory. Glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. And I think that is a way that we are called to live, with grace and truth. Treating people in a way, in a good way, in a way that they don't often deserve, with, with favor, but also with truth. Because sometimes you need to tell people a specific truth in their life, a specific truth that combats a specific lie they may be believing or just shining a light on something that they are not aware of. So I think those things go hand in hand. You need both, especially in your walk with God and interactions with people, because that's how God deals with us. He deals with us with grace and with truth, because the Bible says that he disciplines his children, but he also shows us so much grace on a daily basis. Like I talked about on day one, I'm breathing. God didn't have to do that. He didn't have to make me in the first place. Like me being alive is an act of God's grace. Then in Acts 5, 8, it says, And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. I like that. Grace and power. And I mean, that's awesome. Like grace and power working together. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. <laughs> Then Romans 5, 17, for if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. The abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness. Mm, that's good stuff. Titus 1, 4. To Titus, my true child in a common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. Grace and peace. Mm. In 2 Peter 3.18, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Grace and knowledge. That one is interesting to me, and I really want to learn more about that. Grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord. No, that makes sense. Grow in grace and grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. That makes sense. <laughs> Watch me walk myself through how to think about things. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one in charge of this channel. So I will list these Bible references in the description down below. So today I referenced grace and truth, grace and power, the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness, grace and peace and grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's good stuff. I will see you tomorrow for day four. So story time number two in our 30 Days of Grace series. See you then.